All right, one second. Be right back. So, swapping out some casters, but you are still stuck with me, for better or worse. That's up to you. <laughs> for better. Definitely better. That's my, oh, yeah. my go. Oh, yeah, my boy. Yeah. It's been a while since we actually got ah, to be on the mic yes, together. Yes, sir. My boy, Cab. What's up, brother? Peter. Hello, welcome. welcome. Good to have you guys. Oh, we got a hot set coming up. We've got Keo, resident Wario man from Stockton, and the one, the only, I don't give a fuck what, what she's doing. doing. Yeah, but does he, in fact, give a fuck what she's Peter, doing? Peter, does she give a fuck what? Does he give a fuck what she's doing? I don't think he does. <laughs> do you uh, Do you think he does? I mean, he said he might. He did say on Twitter. He said he might. He said he might. He said he might. He said he might. He did say. I really don't give a fuck what she does. That's true. That's true. Right. Right. That's true. <laughs> he absolutely doesn't give a fuck what she's doing. <laughs> yep. I remember when they made when PG Stats did that like graphic. Yeah. Of, like, yeah. I don't give a fuck uh, what she's doing. It looks like yo, this tax gas was the best one. Like, it's spanned it across like three different states. Yeah. Oh my god. And then people been, in the comments were like, yo, multi? there's someone with a tag. I don't give a fuck what she's multi? doing. That's, <laughs> yeah. it's like, yo, that, that's my go right there. That's the best. My boy Weapon Raid. Awesome. Love this I'm guy. Good there. to see you, bro. <laughs> my boy Infamous. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, so I know, uh, obviously, uh, our dog, as I'm gonna keep calling him, uh, just cause he's easier. Yeah. He's, you know, still has the snake, but I know he was focused on Ridley for a while. We're oh. gonna see the Ridley, yeah. unless, it, unless it's a hand warmer, but I assume, no, I assume we jump it in. Yeah, because Keo has a very good record against, I don't give a fuck what she's doing, and, um, you know, it's especially with Wario, like, Snake is that character that he can cut off sides of the stage, you know, it can be harder for you to combo, but Wario has these super tight combo routes that we're seeing right now in already 60 percent put on the item before what she's doing this is gonna be like a really volatile matchup because the whole wario ma is to like float around use your mobility and get your preferred combo starter and on a big body like ridley that's gonna work really well but mm -hmm. inversely ridley's got really good range and buttons Absolutely. yeah so unfortunately and that zero to death like starlock's gotta find a way to command some space and get wario out of his zone because he can keep him out but once he's in you're gonna take a lot Right. And I want to see as well how well um, Ardog can play against Wario offstage. Mainly how he can edge guard Wario. Obviously, Wario has a great recovery when he has a bike available, uh, and especially Waft as a last resort option. But you know, you like you said, you got big hitboxes and you know some decent aerial frame data as well as they would Ridley. So overall, you know, I, I think you can definitely get uh, a couple stocks off stage. And your anti-air ability with, with Ridley is very good as well. Up till up smash. Up, uh, yep. Tools. Nair. Don't yeah, forget about Nair. Yeah, one, absolutely. Of the, one of the biggest weaknesses of Wario's character is his normals are pretty stubby, mm -hmm. they're pretty short. Whereas Ridley, they're, like Peter was saying, they're giant, they're big, space them out. And I mean, I it's hard though because Ridley is still one of those characters on a bigger hurt box, you know. Not, you know, Ridley's kind of a little slimmer, but it's, it's still a huge hurt box. And with a character like Wario with these huge combo starters, you know, you have up air and down air just gonna hit, you know, Ridley right off the stage there. And it's gonna take the stock. And we've seen constantly throughout this, whenever Keo gets an opening, he takes it for so much because Wario is going to profit off of big bodies. This is gonna be like a set where we really gonna have to see how our dog adapts as it goes on because, like, early on he was like, he went for a couple specific tech chases or specific follow-ups and missed them all. Whereas here, Keo's getting every combo he wants. It's gonna really come down to how well can you keep that advantage state. Yeah, and you can't mash out there. He's dead <laughs> there. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm like, I, just, I can hear it. He's like, no, you, can't can't you can't mash out of that. You can't <laughs> mash out of that. You can't do it. You can't. <laughs> I thought he was capping, I'm not gonna lie. I he was lying. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was at least like a lower percent. I'm just like, all right, I'll have to look this up. Yeah, well, <laughs> and then I was like, scales off of the percent, like comparison, not even just raw percent. You know, oh my it's gosh. just like, yo, are you at like 10? Jokes of you, I'm at zero. You're taking the whole stage. <laughs> you know, the crazy thing is, Keel still has WAP. Yeah. You yeah. see him, he's charged up. He's right, he's primed. He's... Oh, and that's, 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 yeah. that's a funny kill screen. Warrior's like, eh. Uh, those Dude. active hitbox on the ledge too, so deadly. And you have a command grab that stays active yeah. for however long so you can hold it. Like, it's so hard as a big character like that for us to get off the ledge. And then the fact that he's not that heavy for as big as he is. Like, exactly. at least with like, say, Sephiroth, it would make sense because he has so much, the most range in the game aside mm -hmm. from Min Min, right? So like, that makes a little more sense. But Ridley, it's like, Come on, man. Shulk still outranges you, and Shulk can live forever. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, and bro, bro. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. It's going to stick it out with the Ridley here. And I mean, you know, feeling confident. You go into a smaller stage like Smashville. I like you it. Know, oh, it's, I think it's like really the best stage. 
It's gonna, I mean, yeah, yeah it's yeah. definitely gonna allow... Because like preferred stage, too. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Stage. Yeah, because you have these big hitboxes like F-Tilt, you're gonna be able to space yourself out a lot more, and there's not as much stage for Keo to retreat to. And already 76%, and Ridley has these hard-hitting hitboxes that are going to kill earlier. So, like, right here, he's getting, like, every guess right. His ledge play has been perfect with, like, his spacing, where he'll do a move, but it's at the right distance where he can then follow up Keo's attempted reversal. And then, like, he's got, like, those immediate dash grabs, like... We're getting that point where, like, I respect the Ridley choice because I totally think he could have done it. He just needs to find his footing and start, like, exerting his presence. Yeah, and here, we're seeing how that works out. Because especially with the start from Keo last game, it was a zero to death, <laughs> but we're going to see no tech come out there. And, you know, maybe Keo was expecting it to, like, kind of send him into the corner. Wasn't expecting it to hit straight on Smashville, and, you know, he's closer to the bottom of Smashville, so he wasn't expecting it, when wasn't ready for the that, tech. Like, bottom part, it is such, like, a hard timing to tech. No, because yeah. Because on top of, like, the low floor, too, like, the camera zoomed in so much, it is a really hard timing to get if you're not, like, ready for it. Oh, yeah. But uh, Keo just coming back out, retaliating with these big hitboxes, lingering hitboxes, you know. And we're, we have to just kind of see from I don't give a fuck what she's doing, which I think he's doing a good job of here, is kind of just playing around these hitboxes that Wario does have. You know, this F-tilt, this dash attack. And, you know, he's not getting hit by these F-tilts, you know. Maybe it's Keo messing up the timing. Maybe it's I don't give a fuck what she's doing, kind of timing it right. And in come our favorite VIPs, Bone Daddy and Juan for all. No. <laughs> like, right there was some, like, like, he'd get, like, the little hits, like, like he got that down tilt, and then he would just do a normal, like, empty hop, trying to bait Keo's option. He's, yeah. like, doing really good patience and holding center stage here, and saving his burst, like, that dash tag for when he needs it. Oh, for, like, specific that? Oh, that, that match was crazy. Oh, and that's gonna kill, yeah. But Keo, 84%, you know, still doable. You know, you can He's get about to get wafted in a couple seconds. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, Wario still has waft always on the table, but... Like, right you, now. You, you definitely can't, you can't be scared of waft. You have to kind of just, you have to play around it with confidence, or else, you know, if you go in thinking, oh, I'm gonna just have one less stock, you're doing your opponent's job for them. Yeah. Wario is literally like a shark. Like, 100%. Wario smells fear. 100%, absolutely. It's kind of it's kind of like grapplers and traditional fighters, right? Where they, they prey off that fear and usually conditioning, looking for a spot dodge to catch you with a nair, right? Or maybe the falling yeah. up air, especially the falling up air. Just like, oh, you're worried and trying Ooh. to do this thing to handle the grab? Well, I'll just wait till you whiff that dodge on it. Yeah, and catches Keo high. And now, you know, if Keo's able to get the stock here, he has a big win condition in the walk. Oh, that's gonna oh, kill. do it. Animal and, Crossing stage is not the biggest blast zones that have tilled, even with probably good DI. They that might be even. They might be even, but Keo is, in in my honest opinion, in advantage here. Oh, absolutely, oh, absolutely. Oh, there you go. go. On a character no. like Ridley, especially. Yeah. Probably one of the easier characters to get WAP confirmed on. 100%. And, and people, you know, you can look at these Wario combos, like, falling up our WAP might not be insanely hard, but, like, Wario has some insanely tight precision on some of his combos. Like, that mm. Nair 2 into the WAP. He like, had to know exactly right. where to drift for that. Yeah. Like, that had to be, like, reading DI and drift. And that's actually something that, um, uh, freaking Gluttony has talked about is that like at the end of the day Wario is you know, like a pretty damn good character by itself right and then the waft is sometimes yeah, just I extra right because sometimes you know it's really tight percent you're yeah. maybe slightly off and you miss it mm -hmm. but you know if you can land it I mean hey you get stocks like that yeah it's like yeah you have the kill combo but even without that you've got reliable like zero to 60 combos with a flat mm -hmm. anyways mm -hmm. and you've got reliable confirms that like up and back air that can not just get good percent but set up great positioning and absolutely just kill. And you've got good ledge trapping and edge guarding due to active hitboxes like down air and air, right? Like they both serve their purpose well, whether it's exactly. off stage, mm -hmm. on stage. Even without Waff, Wario is still a threatening character. A no, very 100%. awkward mobile Ooh. head. But a missed tech on the platform, Ridley oh, loves you that. Yeah, that absolutely. Mass covers that it whole goes thing. everything. Yeah. Hey, something you guys should know, I think a little inside, insider note for the casters is um, Ardok's talked about this matchup quite a bit. And the main thing that really bothers him is he. The, the amount of pressure that is on him on that last stock is crazy. And his feeling and his actual main thoughts if you ever asked him is he feels like he's always winning the game versus Keo and then walk out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's not like, and in his mind, it's not oh. like, oh, sometimes it happens. In his mind, dog. every more it happens every single time. So when that last stock hits, when he starts flickering and it's at that last tense, that extra pressure really like yeah. kills him mm. on the inside. It can definitely like, it's definitely just like a player thing too. Cause like a character like Warrior, like we said, it smoke, smells that fear. And a player of the caliber of Keo that has like reliably stuck with Wario this long, like you just get a familiarity for that and you handle no. that really oh, yeah. well. Absolutely. And especially, you know, but 
Remember, pre-patch Wario, that character's waft combos were ridiculous, and his oh. waft killed even earlier, and Keo still stuck it out, so his precision is only getting better the more exactly. he plays, and especially learning these new combo routes and how exactly to waft. He's looking for these scenarios. He knows every little niche scenario where he can get these combos off. Put some time on the up tilt, but just do another one. That distance still covers it. Speaking yeah. of up tilt, I was going to say, he, I, I think Bardog should be throwing those out, especially in neutral, if you do the up tilt variants, because because Wario, he's looking for a short hop aerial, like short hop up there, short hop there. But you know what beats that? The giant sword normal. Yep. Yeah, You're it's gonna definitely like it. it's gonna be a mix of like F tilt and up tilt for that kind of space control. Because it depends like the vector Warrior is approaching. Because if it's more forward, oh, absolutely F tilt. Yeah. yeah. And Friendly command grab is like, it's one of those options where it's like, you feel like you shouldn't get hit by it, because it's like, <laughs> it's, ki it's kind of slow startup. You feel like, oh, feel like you shouldn't get hit by it, but it's like, when you do, you're like, oh. You're like, I'm dead. Especially like you end up, it catches like a spot dodge something or maybe catches your roll. Uh -oh. This is scary, uh -oh. last stuck. He went a little too far going for a big play trying to fare his recovery because it might have killed him that low. He'd already biked, but oh, now you're this could this be bad. percent with Waft. 55% here. These extra jumps do help our dog as at least he can mix up his timings and landings, but even so, Keo's covered it extremely well. No! No! Oh! The delay with the bike, that's it. It's exa exactly like Weapon said, man. It's just like, he's doing so well, right? And it's just, Keo has saved the waft every time till the last stock. Yeah. And not every warrior will do that. And sometimes it depends on who they're playing where they want that maybe early lead or they yeah. need a, to kind of even the game up early. Mm -hmm. But he's just saving it for the last stock each time and then it's even Need scarier that than that case, because like he had the waft early on that stock, and he got like the up air conversions at zero, but then he cashed out for like more up airs and resets on landing, and yeah. he got a couple. He got up to like eighty something before he finds like okay, let's let the up tilt <laughs> waft hit. Like he was just like, I I know what you're doing. Remember I've when, got you in my head. Remember when I up tilt waft was even easier to hit? Yeah, uh, like up tilt waft now is actually like not super easy to hit. I think the bike delayed the up tilt a bit because they was in it, so it like kept it active. Uh, and also, yeah. right for him.